This place is just so open. I mean, there's so much to do. You open your door and you have the amazing Toyabis and Tokimas. It is away from everything. It's away from city. Everywhere you look, there's a mountain range. Everywhere you look, there's a canyon. You can do everything up here. We have a real sense of community. Your coworkers are not just your coworkers, they're also your friends and your neighbors. In March of 1906, Manhattan prospectors Luther Morgan and L.R. Scott discovered high-grade ore on the south slope of Round Mountain. A month later, negotiations were finalized to develop the first Round Mountain Mining Company, and prospectors and mining investors began to flock to the area. By June 1906, wooden buildings and adobe homes began to appear at the base of Round Mountain, and the population grew to 400 people. Many other businesses began to move in, contributing to the town's growth, including the Round Mountain Nugget, a local newspaper, a jail, library, school, bank, hospital, and a new post office. By 1909, Round Mountain had grown to become a self-sufficient community. Round Mountain was not overbuilt, over-speculated, or overpopulated during the early days of its development, escaping many of the undesirable events associated with the boom and bust mining cycle. In 1970, there was renewed interest in Round Mountain as the leaching of gold became economically feasible and growth returned to the area. In order to meet the needs of the growing community, RMGC created a subdivision known as Hadley to Round Mountain in 1987, located across the valley to the southwest of the original town site. The company built the subdivision and added educational and recreational facilities for all Round Mountain residents to use, including a general store, fishing pond, scenic parks, an indoor athletic and fitness center, children's daycare facility, health center, a nine-hole golf course, playgrounds, and a library. In 2003, Kinross Gold acquired 50% ownership of the mine, and in 2016, acquired the rest consolidating ownership of one of Kinross's best-run and established mines. Today, the Round Mountain Mine is an open pit operation and uses conventional mining methods and processes ore by mill and heap leach. Round Mountain Gold Corporation employs over 900 people, mostly from the areas of Hadley and Carvers, and is the single largest private employer in Nye County. Your little community of Round Mountain is a little oasis. It really is the Wild West, which is, is really cool. My favorite part about living in Round Mountain would be how involved the mine is with the community. We take care of our community and we take care of each other. You never have trouble finding help with something you may need or just someone to go and hang out with. It's a great community if you like the slower pace than from the city. There's absolutely no traffic on your way to work. We don't have a Walmart, I love that. It's kind of a nice mixture between living on the edge and, and living in, in a real, real tiny town. You can hunt, you can fish, you can hike, you can take out your ATV if you want, even have a nine hole golf course, the longest in Nevada, which I spend a lot of time at. There's tons of stuff to see, tons of stuff to do. It, it's endless. It's really great to raise a family in a place like Round Mountain where I can know that my children are safe. Uh, it's, it's a quiet, nice place. If you are thinking about coming out to Round Mountain, find a good place to live so you can get your family out here. All I knew was city life. I had no mining experience. I never really even seen a little town like this. Came out here and found out that I loved it. Welcome to the community. You're gonna love it here. 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 Welcome to Kinross Round Mountain. You're going to love it here. <laughs>